Please read it to me slow. I might be remedial right now, right? This Hebrew Israelite is becoming one of my favorite very quickly. Now, the young brother that's also really schooling this, this young man, taking him to, to, uh, to task with his clear ignorance, is also doing a wonderful job. I want to show this guy again that we've covered him before, uh, and he just didn't do well. As a matter of fact, his own people are actually getting on him. But see if you remember this. Him that worketh not. It say what? But to him, him that, that worketh, worketh not. not. Keep going. But believeth on him that justifieth the ungodly. Uh -huh. His faith is counted for righteousness. So if you don't do no work, your faith is counted for unrighteousness. Bruh. So we're not talking about someone that really has a full grasp, a full understanding of the word of God. And maybe there might be some other reasons, some underlying reasons behind that. But before he makes that silly statement, listen to what he said previous to that. Tell me Galatians 3, 12. Okay, Paul didn't know what he was talking about in Galatians. Paul didn't know what he was talking I'm, about? I'm, so you're saying Galatians is a false book? I'm saying what Paul was teaching was a lack of understanding. So this is... Now think about that. What Paul was teaching was a lack of understanding. Now he also goes and he wants to quote other writings of Paul, but the, the, <laughs> this gets funny. This this It's sad. It is sad, but it's also funny. It's inspired by God. Hell no. I, mean, hey, brother, I believe brother, in the brother, whole brother, Bible. Brother, I don't see how we can have a conversation if we don't believe in the same say? text. The reason why is because you practice a dogmatic religion. You believe that Christ is God, right? Well, of course. And so for that reason, this young man can't go to heaven because Jesus says that if you do not believe that I'm the I am, this is a John 8, 24, then you will die in your sins. John 1, 1 says, we all know the passage, in the beginning was the word, the word was with God, then the word was God. And this is a predicate nominative that is God describing what the word is. That is the word, Jesus is God. So this isn't that difficult. The Bible don't teach that. Believe in the Bible that definitely teaches that. So proof, give me uh, give me Revelation 3 and 12, uh, Acts don't 1. Even, oh, you believe in Revelation. You believe in Revelation. Yeah, yeah. I believe in Romans. Okay, you do. But as a historical source. But you, you don't figure out how to go to heaven through Romans. No, Paul don't save me. Christ saves me. Sure. This is something silly. People say things like this, and it's not just Hebrew Israelites, but you've heard other people use this kind of silly rationale. Paul is explaining what Jesus is saying and what the gospel is. So too is Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. We don't have Jesus writing any of the gospels. We have someone else telling what Jesus said and what Jesus did. So by the same logic, which I understand this young brother doesn't have very much of that to go around, but by that same logic, if you're not going to listen to Paul, then you should not listen to Matthew, to Mark, to Luke, to John, or anyone else. I'm saying he doesn't teach you how to have salvation in Romans. No, yeah, I'm saying in, in Galatians, no. In Romans, yes. Okay, mm. so Romans 4, 5. What does Romans 4? You, you, keep, you keep trying to make us read. Like he's got just... it. <laughs> that part is funny. You keep trying to make us read because clearly no one has made him read. He has a clear lack of reading comprehension. He just doesn't get it. No, I you mean, like, right there, right, I'll nigga. go to it. But look, <laughs> bro, it's a, wait. Now, that's where it gets off. He says, and I know it can be offensive to some people, but he says, you have a Bible to read my N-word. And, and I have to say it. I have to say it, my nigga. That's what he says. And the guy says, wait a minute, we're using that word. Now, these supposed to be Hebrew Israelites who are also concerned about race and, and identity. And you're going to throw that word out? Is that, is that? Yes. That, you can, you can say it. Niggas in the Bible. For real? Yes, Acts 13 and 1. <laughs> Nigga is in the Bible. Again, forgive me for using words. Some folks have a problem with, with hearing that. I apologize. But he says, nigga is in the Bible. Where does he go? Don't try to run. I'm not trying to run. Right. I, I want to read Romans 4, 5. Here. Hold on, put this in your microphone. I mean, what does it say? This is all cool, but I'm worried about how to get to heaven. Now, where he gets us from is Acts 13, 1. Let's go to Acts 13, 1 funny if it wasn't so sad it'd be funny now there were at antioch in the church there were the prophets there were prophets and teachers barnabas and simeon who was called niger uh and lucius of cyrene now so he's saying this is this this niger that's how it's pronounced in the greek this is the same as the slang term this is the slang term same as the slang term nigga this is why he's funny this is and and maybe you know what there might be some hope for him <laughs> this, Jesus, the, the Lord sends Jonah to Nineveh, to Nineveh because there are people there who don't know their left from their right. Now, I think he's speaking people just kind of the whole of uh, Nineveh and not just 
people who are maybe mentally handicapped or young people. No, I think he's just kind of speaking of all of them that don't have a an understanding of God. But if there was a such thing, if there is a such thing that God might have mercy on the people that are mentally incapacitated, that just don't have the ability, this young brother might fit that 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 category because he clearly, he clearly is lost, which is, again, why people in his own group, his own camp are saying the same thing. This man needs to, you know what I was going to say, he needs to stop, but actually I, I don't think he ought to stop. I think he ought, he should keep doing what he's doing. I think the rest of them ought to keep doing what they're doing and exposing how ignorant and how foolish their understanding is, their comprehension is, they should do their very best to make as many videos about these people as possible so that people that actually can understand and read and want to know can see and know, stay away from these sorts of people. Amen. Amen.